we're washing it today. It's being washed. Don't bother him. A very tall animal has been driving this car. Auckland City is currently in lockdown, which is a rarity in New Zealand. So that's great. <laughs> we have been breaking the rules. We have been going to the dog park and walking Daisy off leash because we tried doing it on leash for the first, I would say three weeks and it was awful. She's just a bundle of energy now. So much energy. But I feel like I've forgotten how to drive. It's been like a week. We haven't been in lockdown for an entire year, I think. Life is just normal for a whole year. We didn't actually have a dog last lockdown though. And um, God, it makes such a difference. I take her out for walks twice a day. It's so nice. Do you know where we are? Yeah, she knows where we are. Weep. Weep. Hey, yo. Yeah. Normally it's packed here. There's no one here. Yeah. There are no dogs here. Spin. Yeah, good girl. Two balls. That's the trick. You still ready to go? Huh? kind of nice because there's no dogs here for her to play with she doesn't want to play she wants to chase the ball or herd something she wants to herd or chase you don't like playing with your friends huh a bit introverted just like her mom and we're gonna say introverted not reclusive because that sounds better Luigi. You know, I reckon someone's been there, like an authority person, and told everyone not to walk their dogs off leash because that was bizarre. I have no reference for what it used to look like, but it used to be packed. Maybe it's because it's raining. People don't like walking their dogs in the rain because they're pussies. Who doesn't want to walk in the rain? It's like the most magical thing you can do. There's water falling from the sky and you get to have, it's a free shower. You just get to shower in your sweetie clothes, which is magical in itself. I haven't done any exercise in about three weeks, mostly because I've been sick, but also because lockdown laziness and such. I recorded one episode of The Witcher Let's Play that I'm doing, in case you didn't know. But I'm gonna take a break and I'm gonna I'm gonna do some cycling. Just some easy cycling should have no issues with that, right? out that I can't actually take dogs to the grocery store they want to go to um, to get lunch and little miss is crazy she's she's high energy so we're gonna get a bit of that crazy out and throw a frisbee for her for a bit and you guys get to see how much she's improved you excited my 
first time going to the grocery store in quite a long time and I gotta admit to you I am I'm pretty nervous I don't particularly like going out in public as it is but not going for a hot minute makes it significantly more terrifying but I need cucumbers I need them I don't know why but I'm craving a Greek salad I have no idea why I'm almost upset that I'm craving it so much because it means that I have to go out. Why couldn't I have craved something available on Uber Eats? There's a lot of people out. For it being lockdown. Like a lot of people in cars. Where are you all going? Do you also have weird cravings? Is it the cucumber too? This isn't so bad. spoken to anyone yet though so it's that well they didn't have cucumbers so <laughs> it is so muggy it's raining so much here in Auckland at the moment but it's still really hot I mean I'm always sweaty anyway but this makes it even worse which is awful do you know what it feels like to be stinky 24 7 if you do I am so sorry because I know your pain I also just avoided a right turn by <laughs> driving a kilometer in the other direction so um <laughs> If that isn't an insight into my risk aversion, then I don't know what is. And we're back going home again. <laughs> I wish I could be one of those people that's really confident about taking right turns, and if you're in America, left turns. I'm just not. I'm not a confident driver generally. You know what I just realized? I just spoke to someone outside of my bubble for the first time in like a month face to face, given there was a large piece of plastic between us. What a nice experience. She was lovely. She wished me a good day and she asked me how my day had gone and I said, eh. I could have given her more than that. I also could have asked her how her day was going. Why do you always have to realize these things after the conversation is over? I think I'm just like, I've got so much adrenaline pumping through my body while I'm speaking to another human that like, there's no room for logical thinking. It's just make a noise that isn't like a scream. Like form, form words. Go on, form them. You know you can. You've done it before, you can do it again. You know what? I'm less mad about the lack of cucumber now. This looks, this looks pretty good. That's good. It's time for another walk. She's only allowed to walk on the concrete for 30 minutes a day. So we take her out twice. <laughs> one on the grass, one on the concrete. I feel kind of bad. She hasn't had a very interesting day today. We'll do some training later. So I feel less bad. I don't think she really cares.
you know, I was considering making this vlog series, um, the Daisy Diaries, and we have had, oh God, <laughs> no Daisy time today. How are you this excited at like 9 p.m.? Licky, licky. Should we show them what we've been working on? Should we show them what you've been working on? Hmm? Yeah? Okay. We're working on it. It's a work in progress. So Bean doesn't really like being on her back. It's a vulnerable position for her. She doesn't like it. But we're, we're going to learn it. Sit. Down. Good girl. <sighs> My hand gets mauled, but it's going to be all worth it, I'm pretty sure. You ready? Roll over. Yeah! Good girl! Back up. Good girl. Back up. Good girl. Back up. Yes! That's it. That's it. That's it. Good girl. Pulls up. Thanks for watching, people. Got my book, got some tea, and a fake tan. And my tanning onesie. So I'm sleeping on a towel tonight. So cute. Also got Lil Bean. She doesn't sleep with me, but she stays here until Alex puts her to bed because I've fallen asleep. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Good night.